Welcome to Atlantis Tech Tips. I'm Ben Baum, an applications engineer here with Atlantis Technologies, and today I'm here to talk about our cellular modem. Our cellular modem takes a Wacom Intuition 6 or Intuition 9 controller and gives it online access. If you've ever been in a situation where a plant IT department does not want you to put your Wacom controller on their network for security reasons, a cell modem might be perfect for you. This allows you to put this controller on the internet, get your graph reports, get your alarms, get your summaries, all without having to deal with the plant's IT department and their security questions. Let's get right into it and we'll show you the ins and outs of our cellular modem. Our modems use a multi-carrier SIM card, meaning that it'll look at all the carriers in your area and pick the one with the strongest signal. If you open this up, you can see what we've got going on inside. All of our modems come with a power cord and an ethernet cable. The power cord will typically be pre-wired into your controller if you bought the panel from us. If you bought this standalone, you'll just wire the 115 volt cord into an outlet wherever you can find power. The ethernet cable comes out of this five port switch and will go into the ethernet card on your controller. The only thing you'll have to change on your controller is the HTTPS web server settings. If you go to config, ethernet settings, scroll down. The web server is by default set to HTTPS. In order to access it from our controller, you need to change that to HTTP. The rest of these settings, the 10.0.100.101, the net mask and the gateway are all right here to show you how to set them up and they are the default for the controller. If they ever get changed, you can reference this to get them back, but you should not have to change any of those settings when you first get the controller. Once your controller is booted up and your cell modem is connected, you can use this remote IP address to access your controller. You can either type that into your laptop or scan this QR code with your phone. You can also get your controller connected to your Fluent account Give us a call and we'll do that for you. From there, you can log into Fluent and access all of your controllers in one centralized location without having to remember all these IP addresses. If we look inside the cell modem box here, you can see the actual cell modem on the right. It's got the Wi-Fi antenna and two extension antennas that lead to the cellular antennas outside of the box. We do sell extension antennas in case you don't have a good cellular signal inside your facility. You can run them to the outside world and get good cellular signal outside. This here is an ethernet switch. Your cellular modem connects to this ethernet switch with the small ethernet cable and your controller connects to it with the longer ethernet cable over to it. Finally, we have a power supply that powers both the ethernet switch and the cellular modem. And that's all for today's tech tip on Atlantis's A-14329-RD cellular modem. If you'd like more information or like a quote, please give us a call at 724-695-2900 or send us an email at mail at atlantisllc.com. Thanks for watching.